What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trinity Wolf and well, I've got one box of Darkwing Blast here that we are going to open up here today on the channel. If you guys are new to the channel, please destroy that subscribe button. We are on the march for our 1k subscribers. And uh, yeah, if you guys saw the newest Yu-Gi-Oh! Day episode, as you saw, we went undefeated with uh, Heroes uh, 6-0 and for a winner box tournament. It's supposed to be seven rounds, but we decided to split the box and uh, if you guys want to check out those amazing duels, just please check out the channel and check that video out. And uh, yeah, and we also pulled a Starlight, so spoiler alert, sorry. Let's see if we can actually pull a Starlight in this video. So, I'm not gonna lie, I only bought one box, unlike the other times that I pulled anything, because this set was pretty expensive. So, ugh. So we are, we are only gonna open up one box of this today. And honestly enough, I don't really need anything out of this set. I just figured it's been a while since I've done a, a nice little box opening here on the channel. Ah, look at that, one dark wing blast. Go ahead and get started with this video, guys. All right. Now you guys know me, I'm not gonna really name any of all the cards. Just gonna just... Blistol, oh, Magma, that's pretty much all we're gonna be going through. It's just pretty much the high rarity cards. That's pretty much all we're gonna care about. Oh, Majesty Pegasus Draco Slayer. Too bad I don't really like true Dracos. <laughs> so that was our first Ultra. Baku the Beast Ninja. Cool. Some of the arch themes, okay. Now if we can get a Starlight today too, like that would be absolutely amazing. Shinshin Samurai Sorrow Cat. So I guess there was like some Amazon cards in here as well. Gate Showdown, and Kirisha Birth. We still haven't seen a secret wear yet in this side. And uh, I, I definitely have that um, Rex Fright for Hire. Yeah, that's the other new card for, uh, for Hire as I saw. So I guess they have the new Link and look at how there's so much little miscut there. But yeah, I guess they have those two new for higher cards in this set, which is pretty cool. But yeah, don't worry guys, there's gonna be a deck profile coming out for the uh, hero deck from Yu-Gi-Oh! Day coming out soon. Oh, I see a purple. Uh, Mizen the Battle Ninja. So, I don't, are, are ninjas gonna be good? Because <laughs> if so, someone please tell me why, because I can't figure out for the life of me why they would just make ninjas a thing again out of all things. But I guess they got to show love to all the other archetypes, right? So we have two Ultras already. Uh, donor Dagger for Hire. Okay, so there's the other for Hire card. So pretty much right next to it. Kind of a random set for it to come out on, but... If you guys want to see a deck profile of that, I wouldn't mind making a deck for, for hires as well. Uh, I really liked it when Tri Brigade first came out because the, with the Samorg link, you were able to just do just ridiculous stuff. 
But if you guys want to see a deck profile of that, because it's a rogue deck too, so I can make a uh, branded regained. Okay. I can make a deck with that as well, because I know how the deck works. And Silent Wolf Kalpo, what does this do? If this card is normal special summon, equip the top card of your deck to this card. Uh, as a face down equip spell, give it 500 attack during the phase your opponent calls the original type monster spell trap of the equip card. Uh, the equipped is by this effect. If they call it right, send this card to the graveyard of this card. If it's wrong, discard one arm card from your opponent's hand. If you return that card to the hand. Hmm. Silent Wolf Calpo. That's cool. I always like when they make little wolf cards. Still not a secret rare from this side yet, so. Maybe the other, maybe the secret rares are, we got one left. We got one last pack left from one side. That was upside down. Sorry about that. And the Blistol Lubellion. Wow. This was supposed to be, this is supposed to be really one of the most, more expensive cards, right? The Blistol Lubellion. Wow. So you can use this with the branded stuff. So incredible. What an awesome pull. Someone was talking about that at the store, and I was like, I guess that's a good card. <laughs> and I, I honestly really don't know, so I'm gonna have to read it. But if you guys let me let me know in the comments down below if that's a really, really good card or not, because I think it's literally the one of the top expensive cards in the set. I think besides the uh, uh, new Panker Tops guy, essentially. But on to the next side, you guys. So that was our first secret. Blackwing, uh, Bale Storm of the Wicked Wind. But as you can see, I saw people playing the, all those new cards in the uh, YCS too. So, Soul Scissors, and just uh, Notebook of Mystery. Okay, so that is our third Ultra. If it was anything like the other side, we might have one more Ultra. And if it ends up being that new version of Pankratops, that would be amazing. Blistol Magnet Hut, or whatever you say its name. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not like everybody else where I'm gonna get excited for every single card and say like, oh, oh, that's amazing. No, like, the only cards you're gonna see me get excited for are the ones I care about. Uh, Draco Slayer stuff. And do we really need any more Draco Slayer crap? Um, I guess, well, I guess I gotta show every archetype love eventually. Kashitra, Birth. Almost someone at level seven without tributing. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think Ancient Gear Golem's a level 8, isn't he? That's a shame. Because that'd be fun if you could just play triple of this and then triple Golem and then just slap him on the field and then activate Ancient Gear Fusion. That would be amazing. But I believe Ancient Gear Golem's a level 8. Turbo Tainted Hot Rod. That's a pretty cool card. Amazon's Pet Liger. Amazon Sword, Cucumber Horse. I said, okay, I read the right. Cucumber Horse. Okay, Terrors in the Hidden City. Mm, your opponent cannot target a face down defense with monster. So, man, that kind of sounds like a sub terror card. Yeesh. Oh, uh, freaky, the Runic Fangs. I like that. I'm going to put you to the side. I got two little wolf cards in this set. Pretty dope. Deep Goatee, Tiramis Heartbeat, Summer, Time to Hot, Branded Regained again. I have to read what some of these branded cards do, because if they can go in branded heroes, we're going to have to try them out. But most of them probably say something. Uh, I'm going to look at it real quick. Sorry. Uh, if a light or dark monster is... is Banished except during a damage step, you can target one of those monsters, place that monster on the bottom of the deck, and if you do draw a card, uh, you can use this effect of brand new game once per turn. You can, if your opponent normal or special summons monster, you can target one blistal monster in your 
graveyard except uh so you have to play like the bliss blistal cards oh so like the new lubellion okay i see what they're doing there all right uh amazon's war chief oh oh vera the something something goddess okay well you're not you're not the uh, pancratops dude that i was hoping for Still a chance at a starlight here. Amazon Spiritualist. And Sprite. Double cross. Uh, three packs left, you guys. So one of these has our starlight in it. Tail Limits, Heartbeat, Ninja Tool. Turbo Hot Rod. And Curse. Oh, where's our... Oh, this was it. Sipno's Shade of the Gooty. Didn't even see it. I was like, huh? Where's my shiny card? Two packs left, you guys. Is this gonna be our starlight? Gooty Fury. Okay, so the last pack has to be our... So, our last pack is either our secret or our starlight, or we got robbed. Because you're supposed to at least have two secrets. So we either got robbed, or we're pulling a starlight or secret out of this pack. Driver Gauge Showdown, Art of Dancing Leafs, Cucumber Horse, Ka Kestra, I don't even know how you say those names. And Tier Elements, Recalos. Okay, because I know this was a possible Starlight, correct? Unfortunately, that we didn't get that. But anyway, I think those were amazing pulls, you guys. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really I wanted this box other than Spellbounds, but they're very, very cheap right now. But anyway, guys, uh, if you guys like this box opening, please destroy that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, destroy that subscribe button. We're on the march for 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there, okay? Because I want to be able to sell you guys the limited edition 1,000 subscriber Trinity Wolf playmat that will only be available for a certain number of you guys. So that way, you can look back on this day when that playmat ends up being super, super expensive. You can be like, yeah, I was there when the dream started. And I can either sell this playmat for a lot of money or let them know I'm a loyal fan. <laughs> but anyway, guys, in all seriousness, yeah, I'm designing a thousand subscriber playmat, especially just for my loyal first thousand subscribers, but it will be available for quite some time because I don't know how many I'm gonna print, depending on how the first few of many sell. And uh, it'll be a pretty, pretty, pretty dope looking play, man, because I'm gonna, because I'm actually physically designing the art myself. So uh, it's gonna be a pretty dope play, man. I hope you guys uh, will like it, and because I'm gonna, th I'm thinking about putting a big, huge, like, it's gonna say a thousand on it for sure. And uh, it's gonna have Trinity Wolf on it with me. And anyway, guys, uh, like I said, have that coming out in store. Um, the deck profile for the Hero Day, uh, Hero Deck Profile, which I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna want to see because undefeated heroes. Who doesn't want to see a deck profile with that? So anyway, guys, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when that video is coming. And then I will see you guys in the next one.